Welcome back to Juan's Outdoor Adventure. Today, we're in the Palos Forest by the cow sag. Currently freezing. Uh, yeah, you know, we're just venturing around, taking the trails. Um, today, we have something special. Uh, cannot wait to show you guys. I'm gonna set it up right now, walk into where we're gonna do it. So yeah, so stick around for an adventure, everyone, all right? All right, guys. So today, video is some products that I have. Not all of them. Uh, I don't have the fish fillet knife, but I do have the Elk Ridge hatchet, the Elk Ridge Alpine knife, and I believe I forgot what ones is. The Elk Ridge Trek. So today we're gonna be, you know, testing them out. We got the Elk Ridge. I believe this is a hatchet, but let me check, guys. So, so we got the sheaf. Ooh, ready? I've never used this. I haven't used this yet. I th think, yeah. Okay, just, a, yeah. All right, so here's the, the the Elk Ridge hatchet. Um, first thoughts is, you know, the grip's awesome. Fits my hand perfectly. Uh, sharp, I feel it. Um, you've got this like line cutter, and then you got these three little, um, I think octagons. Um, I think these are meant for like um, bolts to unscrew them, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool, multi-purpose. So, let's try it. Oh, this, this, this cuts. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. It's freezing, but this is awesome. So this is a first for me having a, I've reached out to a company to uh, review their product. Um, yeah. Let's try to let's try to try to do this, guys. Let's we're gonna do this. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's. You guys see that? Okay. Let's do it. You all fell because of this thing. Y'all see me? There. Ready? There you go. Dots. You know, it's a pretty good knife. You know, it's, it's heavy. It's got some good swing power. You know, I'm wearing these gloves, but it's not the best of grips, but you know, with the hand, you know, just you holding it without the glove, it's excellent.
clean. Great product. So we got the Alpine knife. You know, I didn't think it was gonna be this big, but it's it's pretty big. So, and then the secret feature is this. So you see this? If you take it out, you know, let's do this without gloves. All right. So you have this. Thank you. You guys know what this is. This is a, a fire starter. Great. Let's see what the cutting, how good the cutting is. So you put this on the handle. Very convenient. You've also got a line cutter for fishing or anything, really. All right. Pretty good cuts through it. For a self-defense weapon or just a hunting knife, you know, a wilderness survival knife, I think this is a great option. Yeah, awesome. This is the Alpine, uh, Elk, or Elk Ridge Alpine knife. There you go, clips in. You know, it doesn't fall out, even if the, the, the it's not secured in, it won't fall out. Carrying case is great, because it has a belt loop. And uh, yeah, so, you know, this could get uh, some string, so you could have some string here, whenever you need, paracord. Next product we have, we've got the Elk Ridge Trek knife bottle, or uh, pocket knife. You know, small, compact, good weight. Um, yeah, let's try it. I'm gonna try on this big knife right here. Awesome. I'm thinking if there's a, a barge coming through, this is a shipping canal, so I don't know. I might, I think I hear one, but uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. This is it the Trek knife, you know, press this in. There you go, right knife. Let's go on for the next adventure, guys. Let's walk around, see nature. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the LNC Port of Joliet uh, US Marine Towing. As you can see, it leaves a pretty big uh, turbulent um, backwash, I believe. I don't know what they're called. The Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, pretty cool. Oh, Lamont. Never mind. Lamont's not what 20 minutes away on the road, so yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna keep continuing. We're gonna see if we can jump on another trail just because uh, this trail is long as heck, and the other one's a little bit shorter. I'm not really expecting to, you know, never mind. It connects. See. There's uh, there's been bikers here, you know, mountain bikers. Pretty recent. This looks to be like in the morning today, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's an opening off in front. Let's go see. What's up, guys? Oh, uh, still walking around, doing some, some hiking. Back there was really interesting. I don't know what the heck that was. I'm gonna do some research on it, see if we can find anything, but. Man, these these mountain mountain bike trails are, are no joke. They're just small little rolling hills. Oh, look at this. There's some fungus. I'm not gonna touch it, but I am gonna find out which one it is. Uh, you know, in Cook County, it is illegal to be hunting, I believe, mushrooms, fungus. So yeah. Isn't that cool, guys? Wow, cool. All right, guys. So I took some pictures for the fun uh, of the fungus, and I'm gonna do some research on them. You know, take it back to uh, my computer and just you know find out which what it is. So I'm gonna link it down in the description. So if you guys are interested, you guys could find out which which mushroom I found. 
I honestly don't know. I want to get into mushroom hunting because I feel like it's a pretty cool hobby to, 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 to have. Obviously, I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't be able to do it in Cook County just because there's restrictions on it, just because the amount of people that be doing it would be uh, not ecologically friendly. So, yeah. All right, guys, we're welcome back. We're at Saganashi. Um, one thing I wanted to say is that uh, at this point in time, I don't know if this video is going to be sponsored or not. If there is, I will put um, I will put a, a discount code to Elk Ridge uh, uh, on another thought. So I'm looking at these seagulls, and when I got in over here, when I was flying the drone, I did see some fish. They were diving for some fish, so that's why I believe there's still good fishing here, even though it's not it's frozen. Like you know, it's cold water. Fish don't really want to be in cold water, but you know, they have to eat and they have to find scavenge around. So I'm looking around on the surface of the water. There's very much big, there's just a lot of activity. So that tells me the seagulls and just the, the ripples of, of the water telling me that it's either, uh, I believe, I think it, it's shad. Um, there's not many shad in here, but there is a population of them. I know they don't stock them here, so they have have, have came um, through other ways. People are releasing them, probably. So yeah, go for an adventure, all right, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and go out for an adventure, all right, guys. Peace.